here it is, the full secret door build as promised. Before you come at me, I know it's not a secret anymore, it's on the internet. Let's start out with this. This is a way to do it, not the way to do it. Start out here mounting three quarter inch plywood on the walls and ceiling, creating a makeshift door frame. Next, we took this free demo door, cut it down to the proper height. We'll end up mounting the bookshelf to the door itself. We decided to double up the three quarter inch plywood on the hinge side. Here I marked out all of the hinge placement I took the chisel to the hinge outlines. Next, setting the router to just enough depth for the hinges to be inset into the plywood. Running the router to my chisel marks, creating a pretty clean line. Here it is, using the router, creating that inset portion for those hinges to sit in. Then we got that three quarter piece that we just routed those grooves in for the hinges, mounted on the wall. Side note, we did frame this ourselves, so we beefed up the framing behind that wall where we knew we were going to mount this door. Next came hanging the door and then putting a headpiece to as a stop for the door to swing into. Onto the bookshelf, we start here with the backing using three quarter inch birch plywood. It wasn't wide enough for the opening, so we cut another strip and used some pocket hole screws to make it a little wider. Next we made a 3 quarter inch wide groove for our top, bottom, middle, and sides of plywood to sit in. As you can see here, test fitting it and making sure we didn't screw anything up. Then we marked out where on our side pieces our top, bottom, and middle were going to sit. Marked them and then made our 3 quarter inch grooves for that plywood. Before mounting the sides on the back, went ahead and drilled out my peg holes using this Craig jig. This thing's awesome. No, I'm not sponsored by them, although I wish I was. On to assembly. So here we are making sure all of our pieces fit into the grooves we made and everything lines up and square. Once it was all glued up and screwed together, we got it mounted onto the door. Next came arguably the most important pieces, the trim. One portion for the bookshelf to hide the edges of the plywood, the other portion staying stationary to cover that reveal. Here we made some shaker style inset cabinet doors. These took me way too long to get the reveal right and adjusted correctly. Next came the paint. I had just got this Graco VSP 360. Love the finish it puts on, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Onto the magnetic lock that everybody seems to hate on for some reason. Step one, take instructions, throw them away, because mama didn't raise no book. I must have cut out there, buy the book loser. And subsequently retrieve them later, because you're not as smart as you think you are. No, no, that didn't, that didn't happen to me. So this is for the mounting plate for the magnetic lock. This hole is for the wires to go through to go to the electricity. Next, marked and drilled a hole for the receiving plate. This is just a piece of metal. Note here, leave it a little loose. While I finish getting this mounted up, this is an electric lock. It is a fail-safe lock, meaning when there is no electricity, the door is unlocked. This is what I wanted. It's not a safe room. It's literally just a door to separate my safe from the fancy living room. Could you put a backup battery on it? Yes. Will I? Probably not. We're going to turn this into this.